Minister Adams, Innovate, T2B from the Take Back BRC. Um, haven't been online in a few days. I saw the comments. I'm going to react to the comments later after the, after I upload this video. Um, salute to everybody that watched and that give input because that's the, that really helps me know what stories to tell. Because sometimes, man, when I was thinking about stories to tell about this, I was like, damn. Like, I was like, I had to, like, you really got to sit back and meditate. I was like, damn. Like, I forgot all that shit. Like, I've been in the world, and I, I really, it, it was like I was, when I try to recollect what happened in there, it's like no sense of time. It's just different stories. It's like, somehow, I didn't know I was doing it when I was in there, and I didn't even know I was doing it until I tried to recollect the stories. I was blocking out the time. I was doing stuff, maybe, but and, and this is why. We, we just don't realize what we're doing. That's one reason I like doing this, whether you in or whether you out. Whether you, I, I don't just do this for big niggas. Little niggas go to jail too. Niggas on the outside scared to go. Niggas on the niggas on the inside scared to get out. I try to talk to everybody in a spiritual way. But um, yeah. But but what I'm saying, bro, is that, and this is gonna be the main thing of this video. We do shit. It's also gonna be about how how dudes try to make being gay acceptable, and they, it, it starts from the county. I even just watched one of OG. I just started really watching OG Person Fleece. I think I saw one video of there. And it blows my mind how 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 we talk about this, how they talk about the same, how we talk about the same things from different point of views, bro. But 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 OG talk a lot about um how in prison niggas oh I don't know where maybe he was saying in their county how how they make that shit accept, but that shit does start in counties. Um, I did four years in the Wayne County, really six if you put it all together, cause they really like five, cause they kept putting me there on little until I beat the cases and stuff like that. I call cases that I didn't get time for. So, um, I was always in that county, but I just say that to say that niggas did shit to pass time to where we kind of lost, to where we kind of lost track of time when it comes to our memory, because mentally we just did so much and we did, I'm telling you, man, I, I'm going to tell some, and that's what this going to be about different things. We, different things niggas will do to you to pass their time. That'll put you in mad trouble. Um, and it's, and it's usually them big motherfuckers that think they invincible. You got to watch out for if they know you, especially in a county when you can't get a real good weapon and you in there for, especially in a, and if, if your city got a county to where you could spend more than a year in it, we have one to where you could spend two years in it and then they'll send you to the other one. You could stay, you could stay in the city for five years and not go upstate because we had two counties. Even at the beginning, they'll try to hold you in the Wayne County. I don't know if they was trying to just milk money and didn't want to send you upstate. If they figured they wanted, I don't know what it was. I don't know if they wanted to just keep us in the city so they can, let us out at they women and just keep that killer vibe. That's something that a lot of young men, a lot of older men don't realize. That's why it's not easy to tell a story from that time. And you got to give glory to the, to the way God made us just, just by us being like that. Or by the way God allowed us to survive in there because it's hard to put in words, but I'll put in words. We used to do so much to take our mind off the time. And, 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 and to keep our mind occupied, to keep from being aware of where we are, that when you get out, you don't really have a recollection of where you were as far as time. You just got a recollection of the different events that happened. But after time passes, I can be like, was I really in that motherfucker for that long? I like, don't seem like I was in there for that long. But all this shit happened, but damn, you can't fathom that I was in there for that long because you did so much not to be aware of being in there. It's a very, it's a very deep human makeup. We don't even have a human word for that in psychology, but I just broke down, but that happened. I just broke that down, something that nobody ever explained to us. Like what, like, but you gotta do a lot of time to know, like, damn, if I just did 10, and it's 10 years later, and when I think about that shit, I can't remember doing it. I'm not, I know what happened, but I can't remember the, the anguish that I felt over the time because I, I trained myself to a point to where I did so much to where I wasn't aware of the time. And that's the point that's going to, but there's some brutal shit that niggas do and they do it constantly all day. It's a game. Um, I, I, Before I go into what I was going to say, I'm, I'm, after this, after I tell this little bit, I'm going to go back to me being as a youth in there. I mean, this is one of the most dangerous games. I'm, I'm going to give you, I, I, some stuff I hinted in my last video that I didn't cover. If I do that and you be like, what, what do you mean by that? I, I'll cover it in my next video. God will make me sensitive to it. And I think in my last video, I said that um, niggas know how to put you in debt. Like, don't arouse nobody. 
I said, you don't know, that that's very deep to understand. That's very psychological and it's very evil what they'll do to you if you're smaller than them. And you got to be aware of it and they'll respect you if you do because they'll get away from you. They don't want nobody else to know what they're doing. They'll get away from you. But you got to let them know, I see it. Like, no, I, don't, I saw that. Don't do that. What they'll do, bro. All right, so there's different ways. That's why I say you got to watch what puts you in debt. Arousing a nigga can put you in debt if a nigga been in... Cause I, cause I was in prison. I was in the county for so long that shit. You gonna brush across niggas that's that's back. Like I didn't already did. I'm mean, shit. You how old are you, man? I'm fifty. I didn't already did twenty. Like, and you relating to them, and you and you thinking they relating to you. Like I was in here when, and they'll find things in common. I was in here when you was old, your age. We cool. You trust them enough. Like I'll play ball with you, bro. And you playing ball with them, and 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 you checking them, and you realize like his thing getting hard as you checking him. And if you don't check that, like, bro. If I ever see that, like you can't. If I ever see that, you can't never come around. If you don't check that, in their mind, they're gonna keep praying up. Cause in their mind, they're gonna be like, he owes me. Like he know I've been down for this time in prison. This how they gonna play you. He owes me. He knows I've been down for this long, and he aroused me. And, and they're gonna set their mind up. That's the most dangerous booty bandit. That'll won't take it, but'll just set his mind up to justify taking it, and'll do it, and it'll, and, it'll, and it'll do it in such a mellow, in such a melodramatic way. Such a such a subtle way, like a serpent. I'm like the devil be in these niggas. You open I, the devil was in me. You open yourself up to the devil. I was a liar in there. I, I was lying. Old niggas had to tell me like, don't go up state lying like that. I, I, I man, I was creating so much gossip and shit. That was my that was one of my powers was was creating gossip. To where you create so much gossip that nobody know the truth. I was doing the art of war before anybody ever knew it. I'll go to, I'll go, man, but I ain't gonna try straight off subject too far. But man, so you playing ball with, so you'll be, you'll be in prison with a nigga and he'll be your celly and he'll be wrestling with you and playing with you. And if you notice that it's arousing him and you don't, you don't check it, like, bro, nah, like, 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 like what you thinking about, bro? I've done it like that before. Like, like what you think about, I check it in a way that doesn't offend, but that lets you know, like I saw it, and I'll be like, all right, now I'm about to, I'm out. I'm out. And then you, you'll see me just playing you off, like, nah, uh, you'll see me with different people to where I'll make it scared, I'll make you afraid to approach me. I'll go to a, somebody, it's like, man, I'm trying to bring you to a crowd. I'm trying to build a team. So I'm building with you to try to see if you're cool enough to come into my team. You violate, you'll see me with my team. Like, I, I wasn't no nigga that, I was a nigga that was, That'll protect, but but I wasn't one of them niggas. Some niggas will hold that anger against you. Like if I check it on the spot and you cower out, I can let it go. But some niggas, they need a certain amount of retribution. So, but don't be fucking around with them with them freaky ass niggas, bro. Trying to play around with them niggas or wrestle around with them niggas. And if you notice they not doing it to train, or if you notice y'all not really shooting ball and and and, and y'all giving each other boundaries, only 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 having contact when somebody got the heart to go to the rim. You ain't defending no nigga like that. You like, nigga, come to the rim. You real niggas under the rim. Like, I dare you to come to this motherfucker. Ain't no five-second rule. Ain't nobody checking me. The real niggas under the rim. The nigga that's checking me, I'm, I'm dribbling back. If you checking me and you do, I'm going I'm to say something in front of him. Like, yo, what's up with him? Like, what's up with this dude? I'll put you on blast in front of everybody. And that's what made me start that lying shit. Like, oh, man, niggas listen. Not, that was some evil shit I was doing. But it was to survive. So I don't judge them. No sin is worse than the other. Lying is more immoral than what they was doing in the, to some, to most people, shit, in a certain way. Like, as far as letting you in my present, no, it ain't. They the same. I don't want a liar or, or a booty bandit in my present. But I'm just saying, watch how you put niggas put you in debt. You, you don't just get put in debt by sitting at the poker table, the, the domino table, the tunk table, the chess table, the checkers table. The, you don't just get in, And we played them games. I, I used to cut these up. We used to cut these up. And we played them games like that. I was going to show y'all something, but I'm going to do that in another video. That's why I have that on, on things we did to entertain ourselves in jail. But I saw something online today that led me to come this way. So, so shit, you lose money in, 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 in fucking any of those areas gambling. You think that's the only way a nigga going to be like, because nigga going to be like, all right, now you know how I want. You don't know if a nigga going to be like, I want my money back like this. And that same type of mentality is going to say, is going to justify it to themselves. He owes me. And they're going to put you in a position, three or four. You be, I used to think like, man, they're going to have to kill me till you hear a nigga like four cells down, bigger than you, struggling, like they in there wrestling or something. Then you hear, then you hear that, then you hear that nigga get gagged. Like, oh, he quiet. Then, then you hear it. 
And I think that happened, but man, man, you I used to hear them niggas doing that, bro, and that was that's the most that was the most sickening thing to me. To hear a, another man doing that. I hate to even have a smile inside of my face when I think when I say that. Cause that that make cause cause I, I used to just try to trip on it. That's how I passed, but I passed my time on every little increment, doing every little thing. Every little thing. And that's what makes jail dangerous, cause you can just become a way for a nigga to pass his time. That's what you gotta watch out for. Like I can't become a way for a nigga to you interact with a nigga and he just now he passing his time interacting with you from the jump. Watching your body language, watching everything you he not where he not in jail now, he with you. Watching you, watching your body language, watching you talk. Now you didn't say something goofy. Now he like, oh, you didn't say something offensive. Now he checking you. Now he's plotting for two days on how to beat your ass. Then he beat your ass. Now he now he's going around making sure nobody t he didn't spent the week off you didn't get that you didn't took a week of that nigga time off. Just by interacting with him and you don't know him. Trying to, yeah, you gotta be careful. Niggas niggas will use you to pass their time. Um, and another thing, be careful. Don't don't be arousing no niggas. If you see you may arouse the nigga by mistake, you could be telling a nigga a story. Like yeah, man, I was fucking that bitch, that nigga. Like 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 how Fleece be saying. Like man, he he be listening. I'm just, I'm I'm just explaining to you their 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 psyche. Them niggas will listen to you, bro. Cause I've seen it. They'll listen to you tell them stories like a, a read me your letter or some shit like that, or a tell me the story. How many girls you? Man, I used to be out there. I had money, nigga. I used to be like, what you used to do? Man, how you grow up? Man, I used to, I used to, now, now this is a nigga that's been down like 40. They'll do you dirty like this. You go to prison thinking you tough. You go talking to one of these old niggas, man, and they'll justify raping your ass. But they'll, they'll be, yo, so how was your childhood? Would you cool with your dad? Nah, man, fuck my dad. They'll be like, all right. You think you're going to disrespect his father and come up in here and, all right. So, so the, right now they got one seed in their mind against you and they still talking to you nice. Oh, he was disrespectful to his parents. I'm going to teach him. But they still talking to you. So what, what was that girl you was, oh man, I was, he, he know I ain't had no pussy in 40 years. He telling me about this girl and it's making my dick hard. Like he's arousing me. Like he owes me. He owes me. And they'll justify to themselves raping you to their conscience. So they can keep doing it to other people because they know in the past they burnt their conscience out. Dro drove themselves crazy. Dro drove themselves fanatic to where they, to where they desired it, to where they couldn't even get it. And they realized like, all right, I got to do it in a way to where... I'm not taking it from you. You giving it to me. Facts. All right, man. Now let's go. That's because that shit about to that shit about to have me emotional. Cause prison is tough on little niggas that don't know shit, bro. If you don't know human behavior, man. But like, like now let's go back about to the main topic about um we did so much to pass time that we lost track of time. But I want to stay on these niggas, man. Now that's all right, all right. Cause before we go back to that, because I'm going to stay on this shit, on how, on how wicked this shit is, and how spiritual this shit is, and how, how dumb these tough niggas is, man. I'm telling you, man, I always, I always knew this since I was 12. Like, man, all these, all these tough niggas, like the niggas that got money were smart. But, man, I'm telling you, man, them killers, the killers were stupid. They weren't smart and just decided, like, I'm going to be smart and I'm going to kill smart. No, they were just stupid and they couldn't do nothing else. When they got angry, they didn't know how to resolve it. They would just kill you. They were dumb. Niggas come in jail with that, with them type of charges, they be dumb niggas. Facts. And they get took advantage of and they realize like, oh shit. And maybe I should have respected my father like a grown man hit different. I remember I got hit by a nigga when I was in there, bro. I got hit by a nigga. We, we, we jumped this nigga and he was older. And the nigga hit me hard as a bitch. I was like, oh shit. Like an old nigga, muscle fibers different, man. An old nigga with a little strength on him, a hit you so damn hard. You'll be like, man, what the fuck he hit me with? He hit you with his fist. You'll be looking like, what the fuck he hit me with? If you can see. That's what I was doing. I don't even think I could see, but I remember trying to look like, what he hit me with? Later on, they were like, that nigga two-piece you with his fist. <laughs> old nigga I was trying to fuck with. I'm lucky he knocked me out. He ain't knocked. I've never been knocked out in my life. And that... And not saying I'm not, I've never knocked nobody out either. But um, that nigga dazed me till I stumbled, till I stumbled around, and he left me alone. I hit the ground, and he left me alone. I'm like, shit. If I would have to, if I wasn't dazed, I couldn't get back up. If I, if I could, I would. And I would have took another one. I would have got. I would. He would have fucked me up because I would have never stayed down. But he made me. That was the only time. But um, my point is, bro, that so what these niggas would do, and I almost did it. 
I almost did it. But what they would do, man, is, is, is in the county. That's why they carried it from the county into the state. Because they will find a way. They will find a way to justify their they little lust. They lust for each other. They was they weren't smart enough to do the stuff I did. I had I had to push shit in my mind like boom. That's why nigga, that's why when I was watching OG, he was like, man, you can't jack around in the day room. And I'd be like that too. Uh, uh, like don't be staring at me. Like don't be putting my image in your mind though. That's what the, that's what them freaky niggas be doing. I peeped them from they. He a real nigga. He ain't he ain't he ain't really trying to understand these niggas. But that's what these niggas be doing, bro. They be trying to put different shit in their mind. I learned that from one of the female guards. Like when I did it, I was like, "Oh, that's what these niggas be doing." It was it was a guard, man. So I would come in like this is my second bit, and I would come in from Dickerson, and I would I would have cigarettes, I would have I would have a, a very little amount of coke, but I would have it in there, and um, I would I would take my routes, I would go. I, I had everything set up at the four corners of the rock, everybody in the four corners, and we smoked over here. I guess now they was, I remember, I mean, I, now I know that that was a blind spot, but I just, niggas just told me, like, that's what we're going to, that's what we smoke, because cause they couldn't, sometimes, some of them couldn't smoke without me, like, if I give it to you, and some, and, you know, let me know when you smoke, especially I'm just giving you cigarettes, because if I get to the bottom of what I did, then sometimes I could be smoking my cigarettes, and I could taste it, and I'll, I'll be like, I got to get this away, I could taste the coke in it, because I had everything in the same glove, the same glove finger, I'm not, I'll tell that other story, I may never want to tell that story. About how boofing that shit. I hate that. I hated doing that. I did that. I boofed at 19 to protect myself. That's why when I'd be like, I'll put a hit on you, but I'll just be like, just don't kill him. I'd be like, just get him out of here. I don't want him. I don't want him here. But um, so I so I would do my rounds, and I didn't know that the guards knew I was doing that. I I didn't know they were smart enough to know like this little nigga. But they keep they let me do it. I didn't violate. I didn't I didn't brag about it. I didn't, I didn't take it off the rock. Nobody knew but about like ten people. Um, I was only there for two years, so nobody knew but about like ten, then twenty people, something like that. Like only one third of the rock, everybody didn't know. Um, and I guess she admired that. And I didn't know it, man. I remember one time, um, I was in the day room. And this and this what, but this was before, but. This ain't got nothing to do about not being able to beat off in the day room. This is just about how niggas push shit in their mind the past time. So this story is gonna be dual. So you gotta, you gotta follow me on this. It's some Trent Tarantino shit, but it's real. But it's the way it, it's it's a gift that I have to tell my stories like this. So I'm looking at because you can't make all this up. I would be a super fucking genius. So I'm telling Shorty. I'm like, yo. I mean, I ain't telling her. I'm looking at her, and she looked at me, and I was like, oh shit. So in my mind, I'm moving. Cause I, I was staring at her. She was bad. Her chest. If, if she moved a certain way, you could see her nipple. I'm like, damn. So I was staring at her, and she and she stared at me. I was like, oh, this guy's staring at me. And I moved. I, I'm thinking like I'm thinking like they about to bust me. So I think I went to my cell. Put some shit in somebody else's cell. Go back down to the day room. I sit now. I'm sitting in another chair with a TV over there. And she moved again, right in front of me, and did and put her arms like this. She just stood there like that. It was only about four. It was people playing cards. It wasn't that many people in the day room. It was real early. No, it was it was real early because I was, I think I was about to go to work. So when she looked at me, I was like, I'm about to go to work. So I went to my cell and I was like, yo, hold this while I'm at work. So I went back down before I went to work. It ain't that many people there. And she stood right back in front of me and put her arms like this. And I could just see both nipples, bro. And I was like, boom, bang, 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 bang. Off the rip. I got up. Try to try to still keep that feeling. I ain't want her to see me like <gasps> so, I, so as soon as I saw it coming, I got up and turned around. I shook to my cell like <clears throat> I stumbled to my cell like Forrest Gump, nigga. Like, <clears throat> like I haven't done it. I'll tell you later. Like I, I didn't use I learned from the county not to not to master. I learned er, as a kid from the juvenile jails not to masturbate too much. Um, you can drive yourself crazy. And that's gonna lead into the story on how these niggas started playing them games. And they would play faggot games just to make it cool so they can so they can get that release. Then they'll put you in their mind. They'll put each other in their minds. That's where I'm going with this. See how beautiful see how deep that is. I ain't gonna say it's beautiful because it's some savage shit. But the way I told it is beautiful. So I went to the cells. So she used to come to my cells. I mean she'll walk by my cell. And I wouldn't do it to her a lot, but I, 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 I would wait. I would wait about like maybe six weeks, and she'll she'll be like, and she'll she'll know. She knew she was smart as hell. I guess she'd been around so many prisoners. 
So I ain't never seen one like you that got a savage side but such a nice side. Because I would help the people and I would help people too. I, I, I would have a group of people helping them and they'll be ear they'll be ear hustling and they'll be like, like he ain't selling drugs to them. Like he, he telling them about God. Like who is this new man? So he like he's surviving off everything that he has because he's little. Like like I survived off my hustle and off my wisdom. So sometimes she'll come by and I'll be like, can I see that? And she'll be like, and she'll do her chest like this right in front of my cell. And I'll be like, that's all I need right now. Like, I ain't going to beat off right in front of you. I'm like, I just needed a picture of that. Good look. And, and I would just keep a picture of her in my mind. And, and she, man, she got me through so much time. That's why I understood. Like, you could jack yourself off so much to where you can't even, it won't work no more. It won't even work, bro. No pictures, no books going to work no more. You would deprave yourself. I deprave myself that much in there. But seeing her and then being able to say, I'll put you in my mind. I mean, I, I had a photo album of Shorty. Not call it that. I had a photo album of that lady. I started doing it. Boy. That's why I say don't let niggas on. That's why we don't let niggas. That's why I say internally niggas know. Uh, we don't let niggas beat off in the day room because we like, it's a bunch of niggas, of course. But... The, the real violation is that them niggas put niggas in their mind. Because I know I did that to, to her. I did that when I was, but I, when I was a kid, I, this one I learned not to beat off too much. Or, and this what, this this why them niggas in the county come to prison the way they are. And this is why these young niggas making prison the way it is to where it's cool to play these little faggot games. Because they got so much built in them and they know that, that this little gay shit is in them that, that they group together and they make it cool and they try to make it a game. What's up? What's up, baby? Smack you in the ass. Oh, I'm just playing. You ain't fucking each other, but you, but you, but you putting lust back in your mind so you can go, so you can have something to beat off to. Because you run out of things to beat off to. So you run out of things to beat off to when you get in this blank type of perversion to where they like, man, we ain't gay, but we are. We don't even know it. Yeah, we not gay, but man, I'm aroused. I can't control it, and that's just smack each other ass and call each other babies and and grab each other's dick so I can go to my cell and and think about you. Facts, crazy. I'm not. That's not crazy. That's terrible. Prison shouldn't be like that, man. I don't, the world doesn't fight for prisoners and children. We know damn well these children are being trafficked and raped by these elites. We know damn well these prisoners being abused by these government but you know sometimes you compare yourself to another government and say well look what they going through in guantanamo and look what they going through in in venezuela and, and they and look what type of prisons they got out there in korea or whatever but shit shit look at the society we have we don't have the same society so our prison system shouldn't be the same and we definitely got more people incarcerated than all three of them put together then we got more people incarcerated than about the, we made more money. We man, we got than, than countries like 136 countries, like um, United States is is man, that's fucked up. It's a slavery that you don't see. It's terrible, but so 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 that's this one, man. Um, but I learned doing that, bro. From all, I learned not to. Um, let me finish that. I learned not to masturbate so much, and I hate I hate talking about that. Pardon me. I think that's the first time I actually said it. Because I remember, I remember I was in the in the county. Um, remember I say when I was in Dickinson, the first my first bit, man, they used to send me to the county to work, and I used to work um in the laundry, and the laundry had a door where the guards. It was a door, and you could see it was like the back of the guards' lounge. You could see all the guards in there. And, we, and I, used to, I used to put the clothes behind it. We had all the clothes behind it. And it was only three of us, me, Leroy, and this other guy. And I would go behind there, and I would just stare at the guards, the female guards. I would just watch them intently and just pop, 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 all day, every day. To where in one, I was like, I can't, it, it ain't even work no more. Like, this shit don't even work no more. And when, and when it don't work no more, and you don't got, and you, and you got the incapability to see another man like that, that'll drive you crazy to where it's like, that'll press your bit. To where it's impossible to deal with so i was like okay i just I, I was like i can only do this like once a month and then but then i learned like okay but that's how you pass your time that's how you look forward so you know this day this weekend or the, maybe this week you can you can go crazy on on that window but for three weeks you gotta chill or that or you're gonna pressure so I, I i learned how to i learned how to work my time 
not let my time work me into some kind of frenzy. You overdo it, bro, and this it's, the shit just won't, not gonna work. You gonna be, and if you weak, and if you got that bug in you, and if and if you've been molested as a child or some shit like that, you gonna start looking at them dudes. And then, so now these young niggas looking at each other, but they too, they too tough to be like, they too tough. Like I don't wanna fuck you, but dogs, I need, I need, they, they just evolutionize a little bit. And they be like, okay, let's play this game. Let's talk to each other like this. Let's talk to each other so I, so I can, so I can, and then, then they go back to their cell and they start thinking about you. Then they go to prison and wonder why they get broke and become a nigga bitch because you already broke yourself. I didn't break myself. I was like, man, I got to stop this shit. I got to stop masturbating this shit. Driving. I'm in a frenzy. Like, I'm ready to grab one of these bitches. But I can't control it. Facts. Love y'all, man. I think that's 30 minutes, bro. Um, Let me know in the comments. Um. Cause I got a lot of stuff on my channel. Check the channel out if you want me to talk about some old stuff on my. Ch I talk about the, the five G. You know, a lot of deep stuff. I I go into different areas. Just talk about everything, man. So um, leave in the comments if you want me to talk about something else, more about this. Um, what I'm gonna do next month is I got I got a lot of friends that's been in prison. I got one friend that did 26 years. Um, his name Carnell. He's like a brother to me. I think Carnell about 68 now. They put him in there when he was 23. I was the first person he met when he got out, took him to his first movie, everything. So um, I want to interview him and tell his story about how he went in there. It was brutal, man. And he was, he was, man, he was from the Bronx. If y'all, if, if y'all, now he was upstate with the real niggas. Everybody know him. It's to the point, how the hell you do 26 years, you get out and you can't read. That mean they babied the shit out of him. They gave him everything that he wanted because they knew he shouldn't have been in there. Carnell, like, he protected me. I took him to my eye battle battle. I, I take him to my back. I can, but he's like, I think he's about 6'7", about like 350. And he, he he's 68 years old. And if he shake your hand and you, it, it'll hurt. Like, yo, he's like, my bad, my bad. He wanted them, like, them big giant motherfuckers. But he, but he soft as a fucking teddy bear. Because of his situation, I want him to share it with y'all. Like, um, when he was 23, he lived in the Bronx on University. And, and you could read on University in Burnside. And I'll let him tell this story. But he, he tells it. He, he shared it. I, I've shared it in churches and everything. He, he's given this test. He, he knows. He, he's, like, he's, he's like my little big brother. Um, we call each other brothers. Everybody know. Everybody be like, that's Carnell's brother. Um... Man, so his, his his daughter was going to us. He told me the school name was Christ the King. I, I don't know if it's that same Christ the King that's on University in Burnside, but he said he, his daughter was going to a school called Christ the King. And so back then, the past, the one of the men would come get his daughter and take her to school. So he said one day she didn't come home, and he he went and he, he there was a blood trail leading behind the apartment, and she was back there stabbed and raped. So. They found out the pastor did it, but they before they caught him, he caught him, killed him, buried his. He didn't say I didn't kill him. He just buried his face in the ground. They gave him he, crime of passion, bro. Twenty three years old. They gave they gave him twenty three years, twenty six years. Um, I'll let him tell his story. But niggas in jail, niggas the guards, everybody knew his story. They put him somewhere. Y'all, if, if if you've been where he's been, you know who I'm talking about. And um. They just babied him, man. He big as fuck. He, he had got, sometimes he can get, his body has the potential to, I'll be like, bro, I know you've been there. He'll be like, yep. At certain times, I was that big in jail. Then I'll slow down. But at certain times, he'll be big to you'll be like, huh? Like, damn, like a, like a sumo wrestler. But they just, they just babied him. They took care of him. They gave him everything he wanted to where he never even took the time to learn to read. Now he's learning everything. But, um, yeah, man, so... Hit the comments. Hit the subscribe, man. Push me to 500. I'm at 430. When I get to 500 subscribers, then I'm going to start doing the reactions, and I'm going to do everything more professional. Not to, to, to give y'all something back, because I know I'll, I'll, at, a, at a certain point in time, I'll be gaining. But, um, yeah, man, I'm going to watch this back. I'm going to see what points I want to reiterate, and that's what I'll know how to stretch. That's how it goes. You do a few. You you, you deal with the people. You see what, what sticks, what doesn't, and you... That's how it goes, man. Peace.